A court judge has ruled that an Amherst man facing charges in the January attack on the Capitol is a danger to the community. Now this reverses the decision by a lower court judge, which allowed Thomas Civic to get out of jail and stay under house arrest. Two on your side, Chef Preval has new details for us tonight. Chaos at the Capitol and Thomas Civic of Amherst was right in the middle of it. Among several charges, Civic is accused of violent entry, disorderly conduct, and taking the badge and a radio from a D.C. police officer, who prosecutors say was then beaten and hospitalized. In court documents, prosecutors say this is Civic through the lens of a body camera reaching for the officer, and that this is Civic posing with an officer's shield. This is the bulletproof vest showing the hole where the badge was. Defense attorneys for Civic argue he was just trying to help pull the officer away from the rioters. But prosecutors say Civic went on social media saying that he was in the riot, saying in a post wildest experience in my life. Today's hearing was all about whether Civic should be detained. Last week, a magistrate judge in Buffalo dismissed a motion to have Civic detained, instead putting him on home incarceration with his parents. Federal prosecutors appealed the ruling, and today a federal court judge in D.C. ruled there is overwhelming evidence that Civic is a danger and that he has lied numerous times about what he did with the officer's badge and radio, claiming at one time to have dumped it in a trash can, then saying he left it behind a hotel then said he buried it in his backyard. And prosecutors say that Civic has a criminal history that includes drug possession and DWI. Federal prosecutors, they will now issue an arrest warrant for Civic to be transferred to D.C., where he will be detained pending trial without bond. In Buffalo, I'm Jeff Perral, Channel 2 News.